Hello and welcome to Dark Pixie Gaming. I'm Pixie and today we're going to be doing a different video. So instead of playing a game, I received this comment that states, would you be interested in doing a video of how you stream slash upload etc. Would really appreciate it, especially editing software and setup. And that is from Do Domin AOF. If I said your name wrong, I apologize. Um, if anyone else has comments on things that they really would like to see, I try to pander to that. I want people to be happy. Um, I received this comment as of filming this one hour ago that I received this comment. And I'm filming this and you will see this the next day. So I'm trying my best to, to be um, compliant and give people what they want to see. Okay, so as far as my setup goes, my backdrop is from Amazon. It was $15 and it's literally a uh, photography backdrop because I wanted a backdrop that was not going to have any kind of imagery in it that could be, you know, spotted such as if it was, you know, a specific brand or character, it could be flagged and copywritten. So I didn't want any kind of thing to happen with that. So I got a generic, like, fair... I don't know if you can really tell. This is a forest, and those are, like, little fairies. And at the bottom, there's, like, little mushrooms. So pixie forest. Yeah. I liked it. So as far as that goes, that's my backdrop. I have a very small home. So I try to you know get what I can afford and get smaller things this is my capture card it is an Aver Live Aver Media Live Gamer Mini um, it's worked great I haven't had any issues out of it at all so that is what I use um, to stream over to my CyberPower PC from my PS4 um, right now you are on a Sunpack 5200D tripod I use uh, if I'm on this tripod, this one is um, is higher up, and so I'm able to film better with it when I'm doing a computer game. So you're on this one if I'm doing com a computer game, and if I'm doing a PlayStation 4 game, then you're on this little guy right here. This is the Sunpack FlexPod DX, so Sunpack as well, not sponsored, wish it was. So um, this one works great as well. I put this little boy right here on top of the shelf that's over my TV. I don't have a second monitor, so the TV is my second monitor. So I hooked it up. I hook up my PlayStation 4, obviously, to, to my television, and I game off of that. And using the Live Gamer Mini, it goes over to my computer. All right, so let's get on over to that. Okay, so as you can see right now, um, it just looks like screen on screen on screen on screen. I use OBS to uh, film whatever I'm doing on my computer. So if I'm doing something on the computer and I need to film it, such as yesterday was GeoGuessr. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It's a good one. Um, but I use uh, OBS for that. I'm still figuring out OBS. I don't know a lot of the things that it can do. If you do, let me know down below. I would love to hear firsthand the different different things that it could do. So please let me know down below. I'm serious. Please. If you use it. So I use OBS to do all of my screen recording. Um, so it is obviously recording right now. I can set it up to uh, use audio from different sources. So I have... I have this microphone on an arm that I can bring down and use if if needed. A lot of the times I just use the audio that is on the camera. I actually prefer the audio on this camera to this microphone. So until I can get a better microphone, I just mainly use this. Um, I actually play Pathfinder, which is kind of a form of D&D, &D, every other weekend. And so I use my big beautiful microphone that doesn't work great. I use that for that purpose. That way uh, we can all get together and hear each other through Discord. So, all right. Um, so I use OBS, obviously. I also use AMD. Um, AMD I specifically use um, for gaming off of Steam. Do I have to? No, but I like it. So I use uh, AMD to do all of my gaming, Steam games specifically. 
Um, it's really easy to use. I obviously downloaded AMD. You can just go over to gaming. You can choose your game, you know, what, whichever one you're playing. And obviously I use OBS as well, so some of these don't have times on them, like The White Door doesn't have any time. Obviously I played The White Door. It is on my channel if you haven't seen it. Go see that one too. Um, but I used OBS for that one. I can't remember why. But anyways, I use either or. So there's that. And as far as my editing software, I use this one right here, which is VSDC Free Editor, Free Video Editor. Um, I use this one because it's free. Who would have thought? It's also really easy to use. Um, until I can afford to get a better editor, I edit everything myself, obviously. So this is the VSDC Video Editor, as you can see. Um, I just hit blank project. I'll type in, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, what do I want to type? Tester. 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 Uh, okay, finish. And then I can go ahead and add object right here. I can choose to add video that I've already filmed. Everything I film, I just upload it to the computer. Um, I can choose to add video, audio, I can add pictures. Um, that, that's mainly the ones that the buttons that I use on this and then up here where you see this little razor blade um, if I want to cut out a section I use that um, this button right here this one's automatically selected it returns your cursor to the beginning I hate that <laughs> I don't know why it bugs me though so when I find a spot that I want to cut I don't want to hit pause right here and then be sent back to the beginning of that clip. I So I turn this off and then I can stop where I'm at, back up a second or two or however much, and cut out what I need to cut out. Um, so yeah. So that is the video editor. No, don't save. And then here's my YouTube. We'll go over here to Canva. This is what I use to make all of my thumbnails. So if you haven't used Canva um, and you're looking for something that's easy to use, Canva is a good choice. Um, again, free. Um, on my phone, I actually will use, if you notice that there's a picture of me that doesn't have any kind of background, I use this right here. So this right here is what I use. It's called Background Eraser. You can download it. Again, it's completely free. So I would like, let's say I want to, I did a video on TikTok about this candy bar. If you want to follow me on TikTok, it's Colleen EF. I don't do gaming stuff on there. I mainly do singing and random videos that, of stuff I want to talk about. So this right here is a candy bar that I tried. And if you haven't tried it, it's delicious. Seriously. If you, like, it tastes like sweet cereal milk. I know that's kind of a weird thing, but I like it. So anyways, you drag those in. You click done, it'll get rid of the rest of the table. Then you can click background to be dark. That helps my eyes in particular. And then you can choose auto. Come down here. See how it automatically got rid of a lot of that wood grain? Or you can use magic, make it larger. And I can just drag it around. And it will get rid of all of that. And then you hit done when you're done. Obviously, I'm just quickly going through that. I hit save. This will save to my phone. Okay. Then I can close it. And I can go over to Canva on my phone. And so I'll go to Canva. Give me one moment. So let's see if that worked. So I'll hit create design. I'll come down here to YouTube thumbnail. And then I will come over here to Uploads, and there's the candy bar. So I use the Canva on my phone to save it. I can do all of this on my phone. It's just easier on my eyes to do it on the computer. So there's our candy bar. Obviously, it's not perfect. Um, we can move it around any direction. So you get the point. That's, that's me being able to remove the background of something. Um, let me bring up this picture right here. This is actually where I live. This is my town I live in. Okay. 
So this is the town that I live in. Um, this is from the cruise night that we went on the other night. And say I want to add myself in there. Boom, there's me. I'm floating in there. I would like to add elements. I can add, add any of this stuff if I want to add little olive branch. I can add a little olive branch. Tilt it. I can also flip it this way. There we go. A little branch coming up. Um, you can add all kinds of little pictures with this. Again, if you don't know what Canva is, they're they're great. I don't have the Pro because I'm not going to pay for it. Um, so I don't have the Pro version. So everything with a crown is Pro. I can't use that unless you pay for it, uh, which is fine because there's a lot I can do without even needing that. Um, you can add text. You can add something that's already on here. Cheers. Boom! I can make that smaller, and there you go. Those are pre-made ones right there. So a lot of them are very specific. You can add in your own text. There you go, there's your own text. I can highlight it, change the color. You can, it'll actually show you the colors that are in the picture itself. So I can make it the same color as the car if I wanted to. Um, click off of it, there you go, it's the same color as the car. Um, I can either make it bigger here or I can just, boom, it's bigger. And it'll tell you exactly how big you just made it. And Let's pull it down here. So it's on top of the car. I can't see it very well. Let's go ahead and highlight that. Effects. Neon. I can see it better. Is it more dull? Yes. I don't like it. Let's change it. But you get the point. Um, there's a lot you can do with Canva. If you haven't used it, give it a shot. Again, not sponsored. I wish. Uh, it's fantastic. I love using it though. So that is my setup and that's how I edit things and uh, slap them together. Um, I get all of my sounds, obviously, off of the YouTube library. Um, they have some pretty good selections. I wish they had, I wish they had more, but, you know, you wish for what you wish for. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative, helpful, all of the good things in life. As always, be kind to each other and have a great day. Bye!